Matt again, back with some more zombie talk. Today we're talking about Zombie 6, Six Feet Under. This is actually supposed to be a set that's kind of an expansion. See, you mix the tiles in with the original series. It's not just something you have to pick an entrance to. This just kind of makes the game easier. Oh, yeah, it also comes with more cards you mix in, too. That's really cool. It was here. But anyway, uh, you're a little guy, and you're making it through the city, and these are just some of the new tiles here. But the coolest thing about this series is it comes with a subway station. Now, on the subway station, you can take one turn to transport your guy to any other subway station on the board. For instance, right there in one move. See, because at this point, there's been, what, five extensions? And it takes a little long to get from one place to the other. So the subway system was actually a way created to help the player move along a little faster. Oh, but they give you something else, too. See, in this game, you get two little sewer tokens. Kind of like, reminds you of Ninja Turtles, huh? Well, what you do with the sewer tokens is once you plant one, you can go underground. So, while you're underground, you roll the die and you don't have to fight any zombies. Because zombies don't like the sewer, supposedly. Now, you don't want to stay in here too long because every time you stay in the sewers, you have to give up a heart token on each turn. But, thankfully, you have an exit. And you can place the exit there. Oops, sorry, ma'am. Make it to that square and pop back up again. <gasps> He's out of breath. The sewer tokens are really cool, and I could go into the strategies of using the sewer tokens, but that would take 25 minutes, and you may not be that interested. Anyway, for Zombie Talk, that's it. Join us next time, right here on... Uh, yeah, you get it.